The dance Shoe the Donkey is a two-hand dance and it's in fast 3-4 time. I'm playing it in the key of um, A major and the scale of A major in the open position is as follows. And the second octave. Part A of the tune revolves around the two chords of A major and D major. So let's look at the tabs now and the first part of the song we, we actually fret the A major chord which I fret by the way with two fingers, don't be confused most of you would have fretted like this but I just have a habit of fretting it with two fingers and so we want to fret the, the, the fourth, third and second string, second fret and this is how we play the first four notes So 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 2nd string. And how I'm picking that is I'm running my pick down, 4, down, 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 up. And that's repeated. And the 3rd time, now we play the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, back to the 2nd fret, and open. If you're, if you're fretting it like this, you could use your little finger, your pinky, to play that third fret. So that first, uh, first line again. Now we're moving on to the E major chord shape. And you can fret the full chord. Or we're not actually using the fifth string, so if you wish you can just play this version of the E major chord fretting the third string, fourth string, with your first finger, second finger. It might be easier to fret the full uh, E major chord, so that's how I'll play it. So like in part in the first line, we're playing the fourth string, third string, second string. We already have the notes fretted here with the chord. So it's fourth, third, second, second, same picking pattern, down, 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 up, repeat. And the third time, now I'm going to drop my third finger down to the second string, the second fret, and open, and back to the third string, second fret. So that second line again. That's repeated those two lines to complete part A and then we move on to part B. So this time I'm going to move my first finger now because we've got to stretch up to the fifth fret and I'm going to move my first finger onto the second fret to play that note. Uh, second string, second fret, third fret, down up pick, first string open, fifth, fourth, and back to the open second string. So those six notes. To continue, open second third, first string, second fret, open, back to the second fret, second string. So I'll repeat that. To 
continue on, I have a triplet here where I'm pick, playing down, up, down, pick. If you find that's a little bit tricky when you're playing it faster, just play, play two uh, notes, two down picks instead of. Continue on, open, second, third. So those six notes. And continue on, repeat that note. First string, second fret, open, second string, third fret, second fret. So from that triplet uh, on the second fret, and the second line of part B is identical except for the last two notes. So I go through slowly. Final two notes are on the third string, first fret, and back to the um, second fret of the third string. And that note is A. Now to accompany the song, I use, I'm going to use a capo on the second fret, and now I'm going to play. Um, the G shape because with the capo on the second fret it pushes everything up a whole step so instead of playing uh, G I'm now playing A and the reason I'm doing that is there's a I'm using an A minor chord in it if I was playing it in the key of A with no capo we'd have to use B minor which is a little bit trickier chord to uh, to finger I'm just using three chords to accompany it G major, D major, and A minor. Now the strum pattern I'm using is as follows. It's in 3-4 time, fast 3-4 time. So concentrate on the down strums, keeping the time. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then you can add an up strum after the second beat or the third beat or both. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, or just one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Two, three, one, two, three.